Hey guys, so today we're going to film a what's in my diaper bag. Um, this is fully prepped. I actually put everything in here um, just because he's going to go to his grandma's house right after this. So I had to make sure it was ready and I had to put everything back in here. But my diaper bag, real full, is this big skip hop bag. Um, I know Galera Toys R Us, I don't remember the exact name, but it'll be in the description box down below. Um, I love this bag. This is one that I first um, got. My mom got me this for my baby shower. And we used this for like the good first part um, after he was born, probably until five months. And then um, my best friend and her mother got me this one, which is the Jeep brand, like the, like the cars. Um, and she got me this one. So we've been using this one. It's a little bit easier. It's an actual backpack. Um, so it's easier for Neri to throw on, me to throw on, um, just to do a quick grab and go. But I put everything in um, this one for the video since this is what I did use for the most part. I'm just going to kind of dive right in. Um, in these two side pockets, they come, they're, um, I guess, a little bit insulated. Um, I just have, I keep bottles in here. Now I have one. I need to clean the rest of them before he gets picked up. But I have the... Um, like Abbott, Avent, um, the glass bottles, and he's drinking four ounces right now, and so that goes on both of these sides. And so here in this front pocket, um, there's two little, like this one's a really small little zipper. These are, I guess, like the mom pockets that they call, I think, on saw on the website, but that's what it's for. This, this one and this little clasp one right here. Um, I don't really keep much in here because I always keep a purse. So yeah, there's these two zippers. Let me open it and it's a little clasp. And in here I keep um, these little munchkin wipes um, to keep clean his toys and his pacifiers. And then I keep the Johnson and Johnson hand and face wipes. Um, these are really useful just after he eats baby food. Um, well, you know, any kind of mess that he has. Um, and I usually, sometimes if I do go out um, and just use this bag, I'll put my keys, my phone, and my wallet and stuff in there. But other than that, that's just what's in there right now. And there's the same kind of pocket towards the back. Um, and in here is where I normally keep all of his toys for when he goes. Um, and so this is just a little kind of rattle thing. This one, a teether, and then these little kind of key ring toy teethers as well. And so that stays in there just for quick access. And then um, pacifiers, keep some clean ones in there. And then in here, there's like a little clear zip pocket. It's kind of small, so I just keep a little um, baby lotion, hand sanitizer. And I had some alcohol wipes from when he was first born, but I thought they might be useful one day, so I just keep them in there. And that's those two pockets. And then in the back, has just like an open kind of slit pocket, and this is where the um, chimney pad is kept. And I also keep um, the baby wipes. These are just the papers um, sensitive. We keep just like the little 18 wipe packs in here, um, just so they're easier. We don't have to worry about running out. We just throw them in here every time. And it's empty, so let me turn this back around. And here's this big zip pocket that zippers. Oh, and there's also like the stroller clips that you can like wrap around and hook onto your stroller. And so on the inside, it's pretty roomy. I'll, I can carry a bunch of stuff. And it has like two side pockets and then just like the big main um, section. So right on top, I have my nursing cover. Um, we're not really breastfeeding anymore, but I do keep it. It's also a car seat cover that you can like kind of tie on. So I keep that in just a little cute plaid print and it's by um, Milk Made Goods and I believe they have their website um, and like their Instagram and stuff and that'll be um, down below. And then I keep an extra blanket, Aiden and I, this is just one of those muslin swaddle blankets and a striped print. And I keep this, he has a blanket with him whenever he leaves in the car seat, but um, you know, accidents happen if he gets that other one dirty. Or even if one, one goes to his um, grandma's, I let them like lay it out on the floor or whatever just so we can play. And then I have an extra pair of clothes. This is just a little long sleeve onesie. Um, I have 
that. It's kind of cold right now. It's been cold, so that's why it's kind of a um, warmer set and some sweatpants. But if it, when it, obviously when it warms up or whatever, we change it out. And then we have an extra bib. And some burp cloths, just two of these. He, he's been spinning up quite a bit, so I always keep an extra for my mother-in-law. And then I keep the formula dispenser in here. And he, again, he's drinking four ounces, so there's three um, four ounce measurements in there. And then it's just another toy that he keeps. And then in here, um, his diapers. Again, we, we use the Pampers Cruisers, and he's in size five. It goes back in there, so I don't care so much. And then the little Munchkin Arm and Hammer. Um, trash bags that you put um, the used diapers in so that when you're out in public you don't have to have just like a smelly used diaper inside the whole diaper bag. You can wrap it up in there and then throw it away when you get home. Keep Q-tips. Um, his Aquaphor, which is what we use for his diaper cream. We have used so many diaper creams like Triple Paste, Desitin, A&D, the Butt Paste, like so many. This is the only one that's actually worked. Triple paste did work, um, but it only works more like when it's a mild one. When he had like a really bad rash one time, we used Aquaphor, and so now this is just what we keep. And then I have um, some tissues. And um, normally we're starting solids right now, so I normally keep a um, like a food pouch, those little pouches that you can squeeze out and give to your baby just out of the thing. Um, but that's in their refrigerator right now because it's an open one. So once she picks him up, I'll throw that in there. And I think that's normally about it that I keep. I try not to, I mean, it seems like a lot. He's still six months old, so I still need quite a bit. Um, but I definitely, when he was first born, I kept a lot more in here than I really needed. And so, yeah, I always just throw in um, last minute things if I feel like I need anything. If he's sick, I'll throw in medicine, obviously. But this is just what I keep on regular basis and what I fill in every time when stuff is out and when he's going out with us or when he's staying at his grandmother's. But I'm just going to quickly show you this um, the Jeep bag that I got. It has quite a few pockets. It's really nice quality, I think. I mean, the zipper on the side kind of broke, but that might have been my fault. But yeah, I need to figure out if I can put that back together. But I really do like this. It's really convenient. Um, again, just to throw on and have ready is a bunch of storage in here. So the top is just this front top pocket. Okay, it's not too deep. The opens um, kind of stops right at the end of this one. And we keep normally like his pacifiers and his toys in that one. And then this front little pocket, I keep the lotions, hand sanitizer, and the um, Q-tips. And then this one is like, I guess, a mom pocket. It's a little short zipper right here that I keep keys, phone, wallet, the other one is a little Velcro flap. And on this side, where that little broken pocket was, um, it's like an insulated bottle um, zipper pocket. And so that fits usually one of the smaller ones, one of these, and then one of like the eight ounce bottles that we have. Or I could just put two of these in there, but I can't fit two eight ounces in there. Um, so I normally have to put the bigger ones in like main pocket, which is what I like about the other diaper bag because I can fit more bottles. Um, on this side is like a quick access to wipes. Um, let's see. Okay, here you just pop open and you keep wipes in there, which is really convenient. And on this side pocket, it just opens up. And I mean, there's a hole in here so you really can't put anything else if you want to. And this side pocket that opens up, the same as the other one. And I normally keep his diapers and the diaper cream in this side. And so that's all the outer pockets. And there's this big main um, pocket. And the back has just a really small kind of zipper. It's not super deep. And it comes with a changing pad, like the portable ones. Um, look, no sucker. Should probably put that in the other one. I do keep that with me, especially he's kind of been a little bit sick recently, so I've kept that. And then the bottom here. It has these two um, inside pockets, and then normally I keep like those face wipes I had and the pacifier wipes or really whatever. And then everything else has to go just in the big middle part. So again, I've been switching kind of between these two um, 
just whatever is easier. And so yeah, I keep the um, the Jeep diaper bag. It's really convenient. I like having it. it's easier for Neri just to throw on and go for me. Just go on and go so I have a stroller, um, and I don't have to be you know worrying about things in my hands and stuff. Um, I <laughs> he woke up in my last clip I filmed, so here he is on the floor. Hi. <laughs> and so yeah, I hope that gave you some little tips about what you want in your own diaper bag or maybe you're trying to kind of consolidate um, your own diaper bag because I know as a new mom for me, it was really hard to not bring the whole nursery because you always want to be prepared and you never know what's going to happen, especially with the baby. Um, but this is what I found is what I use on everyday basis and what's like the most necessary for him and for us at this stage um again he's six months and so i hope you guys enjoyed watching and until next time please like and subscribe and we'll see you in our next video